What's up guys? Big D Wiz. Old school stereo.com. Back once again with another test using the Panasonic Distortion Meter VP7704P. What I thought to do today instead of doing a car audio head unit is to do an Apple device. What about one of these little nanos? So what if I had one of these and wanted to use it, I don't know, just to, you know, play music back through my car. So I wanted to try it with the headphone jack. Now I know that some of the cars will hook up through the digital or through the dock connector, which would be a digital interface or possibly would be a digital interface. And that may give you different results, but this will give you an idea of the um, voltage that is going through the headphone jack. So let's try it out. Again, this is the one kilohertz uh, zero dB track. So I'll try to show you both as I turn it up. Keep going. And you saw it peg the meter there. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way up to as high as it'll go. And you can see the voltage is a little less than one. I have the range set um, to 10 going all the way across. So that's a little bit less than one volt. And we'll verify that here. Yeah, about 0.9 volts. And the distortion um, is set to 1% and it's off the chart with 1%. So let's do this. Let's check and see if that's actually more than 10%. And it looks like, yeah, it's between 9 and 10% distortion when the volume is at max. So let's do this. Let's back it down. See, one click brought us down to 4%. Two clicks brought us down to where we want to be. So let's do three clicks. And then let's change the range back to one. So there you go. It looks like if you're going to use this, you want to be about three clicks of maximum volume. That gives you around 0.3% distortion, which is not near as clean as our head units we've tested are. But uh, anyway, just kind of gives you an idea. I write it about half of a volt. It looks like that's your best bet for clear output through the headphone jack. And the battery in this is fully charged. I just took it off the charge, so... It should be optimal conditions. And the, the one kilohertz track that is stored on here is stored in Apple lossless format. So it should be the best quality um, that could be on this device. So anyway, just a cute, uh, quick little test of the Apple iPod Nano. I have no idea what generation this is, but it's, it's the one that's really small. So uh, makes sense, right? Nano small. So anyway... <laughs> Another test of the Panasonic VP7704P. This is Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Until next time, I'm out of here.